Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. Um, please keep in mind that these messages are general. Okay, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, these messages are timeless as energy is fluid, time is an illusion. So if at any moment when you watch this video after the 23rd of July and it resonates with you, then that is the right message for you at that time. Yes. Um, okay, so I do want to I do want to say I apologize for <laughs> the sound issues yesterday. Um, one thing that we need to, to keep in mind about the morning coffee series is that normally I record these fairly early in the morning, okay? So I do have to speak a little bit low and I do have to be um, respectful of my roommates and my neighbors who may not necessarily be up that early, all right? Like today is a different story. I mean, it's like 9.18 right now when I'm recording this. Um, uh, Tuesdays are going to be a bit later because I work a night shift on Mondays. So keep that in mind. But um, so and, and it's nine o'clock. So most like I think all my roommates are gone by now. And, you know, my neighbors are basically up or whatnot. So I can be a little louder. But normally when I record these really early in the morning, I have to speak at a low vo volume. So I apologize for sound issues. Um, I do have this microphone that I got, but that really only does so much. I probably should get a better quality one, but that's not really practical right now. Um, so, you know, just bear with me. I'm doing the best that I can. And also just in terms of yesterday, um, yeah, that was a problem. The other thing about this mic is that it doesn't necessarily alert you uh, when the battery is dying other than just the light flashes on the, on the transmitter because it's a wireless mic. And I wouldn't see that while I'm sitting here. <laughs> reading cards. So anyway, I, I apologize for the sound issues yesterday, but um, as far as moving forward, keep in mind that I do have to speak at a lower tone a lot of the time when doing these readings. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday's energy were really, were, were really intense. Um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do so because I do go live and I do readings and I just share a bunch of fun stuff. So like you should connect with me and we should hang out and be friends. But, <laughs> but, um, I did a live reading yesterday before I went to my night shift. And I have to say, I was incredibly anxious all day yesterday up until actually it was really bad. It was really bad right before I did that live reading. I did it around four o'clock. Um, so it's going to be available until four o'clock today or the 20 to 20, um, second. But, um, after that, I'm sorry, the 23rd, not the 22nd. Today's the 23rd. But after the live reading, um, I felt a hell of a lot better. I felt a lot more relieved. Um, the, the stress, the tension, the anxiety had dissipated. So if you were feeling any of that energy yesterday, um, on the 22nd, then I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out that live reading on my Instagram channel, my Instagram page, because I, I mean, it was a really, I mean, it was actually a really good reading too. Okay. So just go ahead and check that out. Um, there was one more thing that I wanted to say, and the same thing happened yesterday, but I forgot. And then I remembered and I was like, okay, I have to say it tomorrow. And now I've forgotten again. <laughs> Maybe I should write it down. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's about it. I don't really have a pre-shuffle here, guys, because it just, I, I didn't, I didn't feel like I need it. However, I, I mean, I did sit here for a little bit and shuffle the cards around. Um, ha so, but nothing really like fell out. So there really isn't like an official pre-shuffle energy, except for that when I finally decided, I was like, all right, okay, cool. Nothing's really coming out. Let's just get, let's just get started. I landed here on the queen of swords with the uh, uh, face forward and upright. And the queen of swords came out yesterday. Okay. So on, and on the back of the, of the, the deck, we have this three of swords, this side of the three of swords, which has been coming up a lot. So it seems like some of us in this feminine energy here may be paying attention again. Because remember yesterday, what I saw what was coming through with the Queen of Swords was that she is she wasn't paying attention. She was like, "Look, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to this. Like, whatever for whatever reason, you know, if that resonated with you." But it seems now she's turned back around. She's like, "Hmm, 
okay. Well, we can still be friends for now. <laughs> it's kind of the energy that she's giving me. But also for some of you, you are facing something for real, like for real, for real right now. I think uh, what I really feel like is you've decided to like, okay, all right, fine, let's, I don't know why I just heard staunch conservatism. Where did that come from? I don't know. Maybe that's going to resonate for some of you, but there is something someone is facing and it has to do with heartbreak <clears throat> or it has led to heartbreak or it has been the source of some heartbreak for some of you. Now, this could be a masculine and uh, uh, individual who, or a masculine oriented individual, and I'm speaking from energy. Um, well, okay, it could be a man who's more masculinely, masculinely oriented, but is approaching something from a feminine side, but like looking at the emotions of the situation potentially, um, dealing with the emotions of it. And it's interesting because what I'm picking up for this individual, whomever this individual is, it feels like you're approaching, <laughs> you're really getting new, you're getting newly acquainted with your emotions this is not something you're used to. So the Queen of Swords is the first thing coming out for you from the side of like dealing with something from a feminine side or something because she is the least emotional of all the queens. I don't know if that's making sense, but, that's, but it's making sense in my head that, you know, as you integrate more and more with your emotions, like as you start trying to do that, the first one you would, you would, would work with or express from is the Queen of Swords. She's very logical and she is the least, like I said, she's the, the least emotional of all the queens, but that's cool. Oh, hey, hey, you got to start somewhere, all right? So I'm with it. Do your thing, bro. Like, don't, please, I am not trying to hate on you. I just, I find it interesting um, and it, it totally fits in my opinion. All right, guys. So let's just get into <laughs> let's just get into the message today. Mm. Oh, but but then for others of you, like the feminines out there, you might really be like, okay, well, I'll pay back attention again. But it doesn't mean my heart hasn't been broken or something hasn't hurt me or something like that. But also, you're looking at it from the feminine here, the feminine that I'm speaking to. You're looking at it you know, objectively saying, okay, what can I learn from this? Why did my heart get broken here? Why did I get hurt? Blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Okay. That's a good thing because you are looking at it from a logical point of view. So that's good. It's very good. All right, guys, let's see what we've got today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles. Um, I'm seeing yellow. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm seeing yellow, and I'm seeing a very deep, like, foresty green. Um, but I also just heard staunch con conservatism again. Three shuffles here. So some of you are coming to terms with maybe, you know, how a way of life may have been really detrimental to you, or maybe even detrimental to the people around you. You know, the people that not, not necessarily were um, part of that way of life, but were in fact impacted by it. Um, I do really feel, I, I don't know why I heard staunch conservatism again, but that's, that's going on for someone, all right? Please, uh, that's all I'm getting about it. That's all they're saying. Um, well, no, what I'm, what I'm getting is that as with that queen of swords energy, like I said, some of you might be really cutting, so changing your focus, changing your ways, um, changing your approach to life, um, looking at it from a really objective point of view. But this is really about making some serious cuts. And it's not really even... Mm, Diplomacy is involved. It really does feel like diplomacy is involved. However, the Queen of Swords is not an energy to discuss it. Okay, once she makes her decision, that's it. It's done. Like there's no there's no arguing the case. There's no bringing in um, uh, evidence to support the other side and hearing it out. Like no, 
the decision has been made, all right? This is where we're going. This is what we're doing. This is what's happening. The Queen of Swords energy, I, I really see somebody looking through looking at something very, very closely, a way of life that they've had, a habit that they've had. Um, I'm hearing specifically that has been detrimental to the people around them, not, not so much yourself, but there could have been a situation in which some sort of, some sort of that energy came right back at you and you saw it for, you saw it in a different way at that moment. And now you're starting to see how, um, this way of life or this point of view may have really been hurtful, detrimental to, to people around you. And yeah, and you might be clearing that out. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we get for the day. Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019. Okay, we're going to do that again. One card fell out so far. Two cards fell out. Wow. Okay. The Knight of Swords with the Seven of Swords. Both are in reverse. I want to keep going. I want to keep pulling here. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Everything is falling out in reverse here. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Wow. Okay, we have the Six of Wands here, which is in reverse. And then on the other side, we have the Page of Pentacles, which is also in reverse. Um, we have the Devil in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, all in reverse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything's in reverse here, you guys. I'm, I'm going to take it that way, you know? Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in reverse here. Um, but hey, I'm going to go with it. I mean, it, it's, you saw me shuffle. There is a very self-righteous energy that someone is facing. Queen of Wands in reverse, though. They're facing it with, you're facing it within yourselves mostly. All right. I just I'm hearing I don't know why I'm hearing staunch conservatism over and over. I, look, I haven't I don't use I don't even know if that's like the right phrase. Is that a, is that even a phrase? Like, can I can I look this up to make sure that I'm not an idiot? <laughs> but like, I, I don't even know. I don't I have no idea where this is coming from. OK, yeah, staunch conservative. I mean, that makes sense. Um, now I'm not really political. I, I, I don't really want to talk about politics. I'm not trying to get political here, but it's more than just politics. It's, um, I I just heard it's a way of being that's detrimental to the psyche. <clears throat> now it doesn't have to be, it could be something like this. It, uh, it you, you don't have to be a conservative. Um, you know, it could just be something that triggers an understanding for you it's not it doesn't have to necessarily be that but since i'm hearing I, i'm see, hearing staunch conservatism very clearly that could be something that someone is dealing with right now or something that someone has uh, a habit of falling into or is something that someone really um resonates with and i, I i'm not again i'm not i'm not um I'm not political. I'm not trying to get political. Um, but this is someone coming to terms with how... How it just hasn't been fair is what I just heard. Even though all of these cards are in reverse, I am feeling like there is a, a a big release because think about it look these these really aren't except for the six of wands and the knight of pentacles and the queen of wands and the page of pentacles here these are not the most favorable cards i mean even the knight of pentacles all, a lot of the time is not something we we really want to see because it's such a slow moving energy i just get the feeling 
I get the feeling that someone is leaving an aspect like this or maybe this type of uh, um, you know identity this this you know this allegiance alliance is leaving this behind all right we I mean we know what the devil is the devil is codependency the devil is fear the devil is is um, toxicity it's it's um, conformity it's it's being chained to something um, it does, it, it could represent the dogma of, you know, um, it, it, of any sort of dogma, dogma, although the Hierophant really represents that the most, but I could totally see that here. Now it's in reverse and their back is, and the devil's back is turned. Okay. So that's a good thing. I, I, again, with all of this in reverse, I really do feel like someone is releasing this, letting this go. The Knight of Swords being an energy that is just really hasty, really fast moving, shoot first, ask questions later. Um, this is someone that is uh, self-righteous, very, very, very self-righteous and is willing more than willing to tell somebody about it, even when it's not even solicited. Like this is someone, this is that person that, oh gosh, um, I don't, I, I really hope I'm not offending anybody. Again, I am not trying to get political here, but I'm just seeing an image of, indi of like the type of individual that would, um, that like calls the cops when nothing really is wrong. Um, I don't know what happened here. I really don't know what happened here, but I really feel like this is, something happened, there was some sort of catalyst that is now changing this for somebody. Uh, okay, that's what I'm getting, guys. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. I don't know what this is for. This is something brand new, y'all. <laughs> brand, brand new. Um, and also now this could be a family member of yours I'm picking up here, or you're, you're starting to realize how some, maybe some of your family or some of your friends are like this, um, and they may have acted in a way that, that just kind of like woke you up or like opened your eyes to some things and you're like, oh my God, I, this is really what this is. I can't, I can't believe I didn't notice this before. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the clarification now. All right. I'm going to go with the universal t golden universal tarot here. So spirit, okay, what is, somebody was humbled. Six of wands in reverse, somebody was humbled. Ah. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This feels like one of the most obscure messages that have come through here. It's like someone, someone has, been holding on to something for for so long but that's being released and it might have been that they were holding on to this because of a lack of faith a fear of the unknown potentially um there may be someone that is coming to terms with you know how this might this very this very well might be religion related Someone is starting to recognize how maybe the church that you were a part of or your the, the faith that you were you were subscribing to was actually kind of I don't know detrimental in some way I, I, and I'm not trying to say that organized religion is a bad thing I I, I mean I'm not religious I'm I, I'm more on the spiritual side uh, quote quote but um, I do see, I do believe that, you know, organized religion does have a, a solid place in 
human evolution you know it's 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 a, it's a it's a really good start to it's an excellent start to learning about spirituality and then eventually once you get to a point where you know you really start becoming a free thinker in these ways then you move from religion to spirituality okay um, and i think that's what someone is coming to terms with here and i'm seeing that in the five of pentacles because this does this can kind of represent uh, you know, uh, a church here with this stained glass. Um, and traditional, the traditional Rider Waite deck says that it is, um, you know, it, it, people are, 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 you know, like homeless, it looks like, but then they're walking past a church and if they would just look behind them, they would see that they would always have help, you know, there's, there's no, but, but here with this way, the way that this card is, look, they're inside the church and they're like, yeah, yeah, because on the other side, this guy's outside the church, but this side, they're inside the church, and it's like they're they're holding their head like, what the hell is going on? What is going on, okay? And the Queen of Wands is in, in the reverse here. I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really seeing that energy of an uh, overzealous individual, an overly self-righteous individual who's just going to take action without, in, in, out of, I'm going to say it, out of some sort of like privilege or something like that. It doesn't have to be a woman, just a woman. It could be a man also. I mean, this is, this is the feminine energy, but this is the cardinal energy, okay? So the cardinal is going to take action like right away, especially when they're in a very self righteous mindset all right okay I'm gonna okay we're officially gonna I know I said we were gonna move on to the clarification section there but things were coming through so I'm gonna now now <laughs> we're gonna get into the clarification so I'm gonna give this one more shuffle Oh, look at that. There's that five of pentacles underneath the deck there. Huh, look at that. That's interesting. Okay. Um, someone feels left out. I don't know if something actually happened in which now, you know, you got a taste of the your own medicine or you got a taste of whatever you were dishing out had come back to you in a way and now that's kind of like shattered the illusion. The rose-colored glasses are now broken and you can't fix them, but actually you may feel like you don't want to fix them. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a bad thing at all. It might be painful, but it's it might be painful, might be difficult, might be hard to handle it, but it's not a bad thing, obviously. Yeah, and that yes, that's six of wands. That is that can be when it's reversed, it's self-righteousness, all right? It's being on your high horse thinking that you're better than everybody when really we're all the same regardless of what you believe in, okay? All right. Uh, clarification, please. Spirit, what is going on here? What is going on here? We're going to do this one more. We're going to do one more. They're saying, they just said one more. All right. One more. Clarification, please, spirit. Okay. That one came out. Ooh, three of swords. Wow. Ace of Cups. The Hermit. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Three of Swords here. Um, and then underneath the deck, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. All right. We're totally, we're definitely, definitely, definitely talking about a feminine energy here. All right. We've got the Queen of Wands, and now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and it could be someone that's, uh, you know, male, but is more femininely oriented. Okay, that's fine. Don't matter. But with the Queen of Pentacles here, what I'm getting is um, someone is moving into a much more compassionate and loving energy. The Queen of Pentacles is um, a mother, is like a, a, an excellent wife and mother. Um, and what I'm kind of feeling like here is the way that you approach individuals, the way that you approach that you approach people um, that are I'm hearing outside of your circle or may may seem different, quote, different from you, maybe of different walks of life, whatnot, whatever, you're softening a little bit or someone is softening a little bit. It's starting to recognize that we are all one. We all do 
you know, deserve to be loved and cared for just as much as the other person or just as much as anybody else or just as much as someone that, you know, resembles you or is part of your, your walk of life and all that kind of stuff, okay? We have the Three of Swords and that's... I'm, I feel like I want to couple that with the Hermit, but I also want to see what's under the Seven of Swords, the Page of Cups. Okay. So yeah, we have the Three of Swords. So like I said, there's some sort of situation that happened here to this individual or maybe to you that caused you to go within and be like, holy shit, is that what I've been doing all along? That's what I just heard. Is this how I've been treating people? Is this how this really feels? Is this what is really happening? Oh my God, I can't, I, whoa, Seven of Swords. It's like, what? What? How did I not realize this? Now, there may be others around you, outside you saying, are you kidding me? You didn't see this the whole time? But hey, you know what? Don't worry about that. Because all that matters is now you've, you've come to the realization. That's all that matters, okay? The first step, and the first step matters, right? Now we have uh, reconciliation, page of cups, apologies. Um, yes, the dreamer energy, but uh, this feels this very, feels very much like reconciliation, okay? Um, and it's it feels like extending a cup of love to others. Um, you might because of this, whoever whomever I'm channeling for here, and let me tell you, this is a really weird message. <laughs> I don't, but this is what's coming through. So whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, Whoever this is, you might be getting into some sort of charity work. Um, uh, I'm seeing like soup kitchens and, and, and working with the homeless and, and the less fortunate and something like that. Almost to make up for penance, I guess we can say. Um, for some of you, it does feel like, yes, whomever this is for, you might be making up for it. For others of you, you legit just want to help. And that might have been the situation before. You you were very, you may have helped quite a bit or may have wanted to help quite a bit, but self-righteousness was a thing. And what I'm feeling is that that's what you learned. It's not that you were um, intrinsically like, you know, whatever like self-righteous or whatnot it's just what you learned from the people around you it's what you learned about how it, how to express yourself in this way i'm feel like i'm seeing and feeling like <clears throat> parental figures authority figures um the uh, you know part of the clergy part of the part of the church uh teachers uh stuff like that that's that's kind of what i'm seeing okay so so it's something that you grew into it's not necessarily who you are that's what i just heard and so because of that now you're going through this introspection phase okay you're starting to see things clearly with the hermit energy here i really feel like you're starting to recognize the similarities you have with others, especially the similarities in your differences, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, but this is all just a good thing. There is definitely a humbling energy that's coming through here for somebody. And those are usually some difficult um, situations to go through but they're absolutely worth it in the end. So, okay, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm going to close the message now. We're going to get into the Oracle Guidance. I honestly, this message came completely out of left field. I am not going to lie to you guys. Completely out of left field. But hey, I'm just going to go with it. And I'm, hey, uh, don't shoot the messenger, guys. And again, I am not political. I'm not trying to get political. I'm not trying to say one side is better than the other. I'm just saying I was just taking what's coming through. All right? Okay, here we go. Closing message here from the Oracle, from the Crystal Mandala. There it is. Card number 10, Angel Ista and Carnelian Nourishment which is resonating with this Queen of Pentacles energy here, okay? It just feels like they are, and tens are a number of completion. Oops, that's too far. 17, all right, here we go. Nourishment, 
we bring you the gift of nourishment. You are ready to grow. And to do this, you need food for your body, your mind, and your soul. We want you to feel fed with what brings you life, with what helps you feel good, with what heals you, increases your energy and your power. We know what you need and what you can assist and what can assist you to grow in mind, body, and spirit. We know that life can be a banquet for the soul. There are many choices as to what you can feed yourself, and sometimes you may can be confused as about what is good for you and what is not. Let go of any doubt or shame, guilt or fear about being nourished now, as we guide you towards what we truly feed your life force and bring you happiness. I really feel like I want to read more of this, but I'm not sure. I mean, I can't remember the, I don't think I've ever, I can't remember the last time this card has come out. Um, um, I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna leave it there because the, the message will get to whomever it's needed. All right, but thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.